So introduce yourself. My name is Samantha. All right. Okay. So can you give me a little bit about how you grew up and your parents? I'm a native Atlanta and I was born here in Atlanta, Georgia at Grady Hospital. Okay. So if you've never met a native Atlantan, here it is. All right. And I was uh, raised in in Atlanta, okay. but grew up, went to the Cap County Schools. Okay. I went to a school that is now, okay, it is now uh, McNair Senior High. But when I attended it, it was called Walker High School off of Golden Press Road. Okay. So there, and from there, just just started working, and my first job was at Six Flags, and okay. always just been a a positive, you know, moving forward person. Never stood still. When I was when I walked in the dollar store, I was like, that's an interesting situation over there. Okay, <laughs> so we do we normally work out with Cassie. That's her boot camp right here. Oh, that's so oh, she runs right, a working boot out. camp. Yeah, so. We, we all met through boot camp. All right, I'm going to get that on there. Yeah. So, so boot camp, okay? Yes, boot camp, and okay. um, we've all lost a lot of weight. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. We've all been featured yeah. in the AJC and Atlanta Journal of Constitution for weight loss and keeping it off because she does straight military style boot camp. Samantha. Samantha, Samantha. All right, so what do you think about the afterlife? What do you think happens to a person? In the afterlife? So in the afterlife, I think that... Um, you will see your life. You, I don't think it'll be so much as judgment. Okay. I think that you will be shown things. You know, you will be greeted by your loved ones that went on before you because they have to show you a way. Okay. You know, bring, being at my mom passed. Oh, uh, just recent. Saw, recent. It's okay. Been 26 years, but okay. being that she passed, it was some of the stuff that she would say before she died. She would see family members right 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 that came to get her so they come to get me they come hey, to hey. get me so in the afterlife i think it's a lot of peace there may hold again you're not sick you're it's, and you're at peace because your job here is done now so you actually believe in heaven and hell okay so so based on what you think hey stay, stay in front of them so based on what you think uh miss samantha how do you think a person gets to heaven how do you, you have to accept jesus christ in your life as your secondary you have oh. to accept God in your life. Okay. You have to believe. First of all, you have to believe too. Okay. You have to say it out loud. Say it out of your mouth. Believe it in your heart. And then you have to do work. You can't just, you know what I'm saying? You can't right. just pretend. Okay. Well, so I, Samantha, scale from zero mm -hmm. to 100%. Okay. How do you feel what your highest percent chance of making it in? 100%. I'm going. Okay. Yeah, what, so how did you come up with that 100% standard? Just accepting Jesus Christ in my life. And I have been filled with the Holy Spirit before. And I have had God speak to me twice. I've heard him, a divine wow. message from him in my life. In my, in my 52 years, I've heard Jesus, I've heard God speak to me twice. It's, you may be surprised about this, but 150,000 people die every single 24 hours. And uh, so can I leave with you a last quick message? Uh, you, you seem to already have, uh, hey, hey, chill. I already had an answers, and so I'm not come telling something you don't already know. But do you have any idea what the purpose of the Ten Commandments is? That is the purpose. That, that's like our guide. Yes, ma'am. That is like, you know how you have a, a training manual? Yes. That's our training manual. Right. Now, you'd be surprised about the second reason why the God gave the Ten Commandments. You have the first one down. You, you'd be surprised to know that the Ten Commandments is, is actually like a mirror to your soul. It actually tells you what you really are, what we all really are like on the inside. Okay. All right, and I'll give you an example, and I'm not judging, Mr. Matthew. Okay. You seem like a very incredible young lady. But this is a standard which God is going to use to judge us based on the commandments. Um, Romans 3 and 20 basically says, By keeping the law, no man will be made right with God. But through the knowledge of the law, men become aware of their sin. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like uh, me and you get up playing 10,000 feet in the air, and I say, Samantha, you got to jump. <laughs> He's like, okay. And I say, I, get, I have some really good advice for you. I say, I want you to flap your arms as hard as you can. And think you're a bird. In the end, we're not gonna make it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. No matter no matter how hard you try to flap no your arms. Well, that's what the Bible talks about. Where, religiously speaking, we're all trying to get to heaven. But if you try to get there by keeping this standard, which I think the standard is great to keep, but it shows you that you can't keep it in some ways to give you the gift, which is Jesus. So I'll give you an example. Uh, the part of the commandments. How many lies have you told in your whole life, Samantha? I can't even count them. I can't count mine either. <laughs> and I'm a pastor. Uh, have you ever stolen anything, even if it's small? Yeah. All right. Um, Jesus says, 
if you have lustful thoughts, you already commit adultery in your heart. Have you ever, have you ever looked at someone with lust? <laughs> right? I'm not gonna lie. I appreciate you being honest. Me too. Not, all right. Uh, have you ever used God's name? In vain. As, yeah. Probably before I realized what I was doing. Yes, ma'am. So now that I know, I don't anymore. Cool. You're a lot better than I am. My prayers a lot of the times just it turns into. Oh, you gotta go. Okay. okay gotta go. They turn hey. into conversations hey. more. Okay. Not all of us. Hey, God bless you. And my ch my church is First Baptist Church of Jonesboro. Okay. If you ever around, you ever want to visit, we are we open, we back. It's a really mixed church. Okay. Love to have you. First Baptist, First Baptist Church, Church of Jonesboro. Jonesboro. God bless you.